Welcome back, I'm Tiffany Ellis, and here now are the stories making our e-news and reviews for this week. It's the unfortunate story that is dominating media right now. Beloved songstress Tess Ann Chin and her celebrity husband Michael Anthony Coff seem to be heading for Splitsville. Sources close to the couple have confirmed that Coff has moved out of the matrimonial home. For many, shock is the word used to describe their sentiments towards the demise of what seemed like a perfect couple. While the widespread speculating has begun, could it be her hectic schedule since winning The Voice? My husband and I, we've been separate for a lot of the time because, mm. you know, a lot of people don't know, but The Voice started a year from, mm -hmm. from now, you know what I mean? So I was constantly traveling back and forth for two weeks, maybe to three weeks at a time. Could it be Cuff's need to expand his family? Celine Dion. Yes advise you or suggest it to you that you don't have children <laughs> for now. five years for five years and i she, agree she with did? her yes oh okay. she says give it five years give it five, five years. years and to the detriment of my poor husband because he's ready <laughs> <laughs> could it be infidelity or has the love just died no confirmed answers at this time but we wish all parties involved a speedy resolve to the matter peace and ultimate happiness Tessan Chin and Michael Anthony Koff have been married since 2011. Stay tuned to On Stage. Like Golly Bop, My God, I know about like Dexter Daps came into 2015, one of the hottest artists and one of the best promises in dance hall. If I me book you up, me, I go make you sing a Ike. And also like Golly Bop, the curiosity factor internationally has exploded. How ready is the 7-Eleven artist to meet the demands of fans overseas? Dexter Daps gave us a quick update on Saturday night at Barbican Beach while attending Bean Man and Carleen's daughter Crystal's Sweet 16 party. England, Canada, same way them are called, America, everybody are called we know. So I definitely know we're up on a different level. Definitely, want to say thanks to everybody who listen to Dexter Daps and endorse Dexter Daps because it all starts at one person liking it and saying, yo, hear this, you have to hear this. So I just want to say big up to everybody who does text adapts. Because now I see some bag of people in some place, in some cave or link. Me. So now, you know something not my big. Text adapts are said it's true. You're watching on stage and keep it locked. Because text adapts, it's true. Can't say nothing. A feat that no reggae artist in recent history has been able to accomplish. Headline a four stop tour around the island with two of the venues sold out. All this in an effort to give Jamaicans the fullness of his music and performance. Ronix staged the Captureland tour with sold-out stops in Negril on Wednesday and Thursday, March 11 and 12. On Friday, March 13, it was a St. Elizabeth, Portland on Sunday, March 15, and a sold-out JC Auditorium in Kingston, Saturday, March 14, where we caught up with the man who is seen as one of the brightest lights in reggae in many years. It's, it's, it's a great joy for CC. The music is there and we give thanks for the ability to share it. And ability by ability we mean, you know, that you know that power to do it, you know, which is a divine thing, you know. Over three hours of his mesmerizing catalogue, the massive crowd stayed from start to finish. When it comes to my Jamaican family, it's a pain in my heart how much, you know. We never really get to perform and sing as much as we do for people, everybody else around the world. So this appeared to me as a great opportunity to forward and share the music in its full glory. As for the future of the Capture Land Tour. It is within our intention to keep touring across the island of Jamaica because, you know what I mean, it is no less of a market for reggae music than anywhere else in the world, you know. Is we create the music, is we love it the most. So we have it the most, you know what I mean? This is the night of my dream. For coming at JC and mash up the sea. Because all of my lyrics them clean. 
So tell the little pitney them for rock and come in. Twelve year old them for rock and come in. And if I six year old them for rock and come in. We now go upon the road in the cool, cool hills of Manchester. Here is Jason Williams. Tell them the party starts! Green it and yell them, Jamie can yell them, Will the Haitian yell them, How them call me? If you don't know anything else about Manchester, you should know that throughout the year this parish has some of the coolest temperatures on the island. And I know this is cliche, but I don't know what else to say other than the Digicel and Appleton soccer train is expected to bring the heat tonight inside the Mandeville Town Square. Alright, so when last has Mandeville seen excitement of this magnitude? Well, for the past five years, I've never seen this. I've never seen this. Mandeville loud, Mandeville dark, it's a shell. We have three stops left actually. We have St. Catherine next week in Linston. The following week is Montego Bay, which will be very big. But for mega stop, which is the real finale, will be Kingston. So what we'll be doing is on the road, pandemonium style, featuring Marshall. So you know that's a must attend. Oh, so that is that is a that's a new addition to the, the lineup, right? Definitely is. Very excited about it. So I expect to see, I mean, we, we said that we're keeping it out of Kingston, but I mean, we've been around, it's so exciting, we need to let Kingston experience what the rest of Jamaica did. So yes, we're ending in Kingston at Pandemonium. <laughs> Gentlemen, Trelawney was live and I thought it couldn't get any more live than that. Mandeville, cool and usually quiet Mandeville has outdone Trelawney. The next stop is in St. Catherine. What will happen there, I do not know, but we will continue our journey on the road. brings us to the end of E! News and Reviews for this week, Winford. You have lots of exciting things for us. Can't wait, Tiffany. Thank you so much. Yes. Can't wait to tell you about them. Let me hear them. Because we have the Renaissance man. Mm -hmm. He's just been selected for a coveted accolade. Wow. That's He'll be awesome. here to share with us. That is awesome. It's a mainstream accolade. Wow. Mainstream music accolade for music production. That's amazing. We're going to inside the dance hall, King and Queen's Daughters, Sweet 16. Sweet 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be in there exclusively. Okay, and then we're going to be going... Let me guess. Way up? Up. We're going Way to stay up. up. <laughs> we're okay. going to stay up. <laughs> Hot new things happening for this artist and he'll be here to share with us. Nice. Awesome. But if you think that's all, well, hmm, wait till you hear this. New and exclusive music from one of the brightest stars in Roots One Drop Ray. Who could that be? I think I know who that is. Okay, well it's... Should we say? I'll give you an hint. Let me give you an hint. Okay? Ancient Future. Of course. I know who that person is. Oh, you know? I know. You're not going to share it now, <laughs> I'm not going to tell the secrets. So all that is left to say to you then is to stay with us. But when you, life is a dream if you got gratitude, so go tell the regime.